illegal drugs at the various ports of entry. The agency is mandated to protect Guam's ports of entry and ensure contraband and illegal drugs don't make it in. Officers are located not just at the Guam International Airport Authority and the air cargo facility, but the commercial port, the Agate and Haganya Marinas, the Guam, Guam main facility, and Anderson Force Base. Customs spokesperson John, John Rick Mendiola says as officers have been more vigilant, criminals have gotten, gotten more creative with trying to hide the drugs they're trying to bring in. Guam is not uh, immune to the different types of concealment that is being, being used worldwide. So we are... Uh, doing our very best to keep up with the smuggling trends and to pass that information to our officers so that it can be used in our interdiction and inspections. In recent months, crystal meth and marijuana have been hidden in the likes of broomsticks, cakes, candles, stereo speakers, t-shirts, and candy, just to name a few. Mendiola says the 20 recent graduates have had a tremendous impact on operations and the seizure of more drugs but law enforcement personnel know that a significant amount of drugs are still finding their way into the streets. That couldn't be more evident than the going rate for a gram of crystal meth. Based on the amount of uh, illegal substances that are coming in, uh, the price uh, on the street of methamphetamine particularly has fallen from $800 a gram probably a couple years ago to uh, reports of a gram selling for between 350 to 500 dollars a gram. The more readily available drugs are, the cheaper they are. The more difficult, the more expensive. Customs has been working with their local and federal counterparts and doing all they can to ensure the island is safe, but Mendiola says they can't do it without the help from the community. We ask the community that if they have any information about any type of contraband, drug sm smuggling into Guam, that they can con contact the Customs and Quarantine offices at 642-8071 or 72. Uh, that number is 24 hours a day. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm, I'm India again.